Hello my dear students, uh, welcome to NAK Academy. Today we are going to discuss the subsection of the lesson perimeter which is calculating the perimeter of uh, plane figures uh, which contains uh, sectors of circle. So when you look at this uh, type of questions uh, in the examinations you will be getting uh, plane figures something like as I uh, shown in this screen a semicircle which connects with a rectangle or sometimes a sector or two semicircles connecting to a rectangle or a triangle or a square uh, or part of it so basically uh, what you have to do is calculate the perimeter of each plane figures separately then finally get the summation of of all the perimeters of those plane figures so then which will gives the answer for the combined figure so this is very simple and very easy for you to calculate simply you have to understand what is the given combined plane figure and separate each plane figures and calculate the perimeters and finally you can get the summation so let's quickly jump on to uh, two examples where you will be able to understand uh, how to calculate the perimeter of this combined plane figures as you can see uh, the first example so the this particular plane figure has uh, two sections one is a rectangle with a length of 20 centimeter and a breadth of 14 centimeter in which one end uh, connects a semicircle as shown in the figure so in this case uh, to calculate the perimeter simply you can add 20 centimeter 14 centimeter and another 20 centimeter over here and we will not add this particular dotted line because which is not included to this plane figure instead we are going to calculate the arc length of this particular semicircle which we learned in the previous uh, my video session so summation of 20 centimeter 14 centimeter again another 20 centimeter length and the length of this particular arc will gives you the perimeter of this particular combined figure so as we already know to cal we calculate the arc length of a given sector or in this given semicircle we use the equation theta over 360 into 2 pi r so let's uh, solve this problem so as i mentioned since it is a semicircle directly we can write as 1 over 2 into 2 pi r or in other words if you write 180 in the numerator 180 over denominator 360 degrees also will give the same 1 over 2 and 2 multiply by 2 and pi value as I mentioned earlier you can take the fractional value as 22 over 7 which is mentioned here into as you can observe this particular semicircle uh, the breadth of the rectangle is equals to the diameter of the semicircle which is 14 centimeter since we need the radius which is the half of the diameter so we take 14 divided by 2 which is 7 centimeter that is the radius of this particular semicircle which is mentioned here so I can eliminate I can divide 2 and this particular 2 I can cancel cancel this 2 
both the values and also I can cancel 7 and 7. So the numerator values remains 1 multiplied by 22 which is 22 centimeter. That is the arc length of this particular semicircle. So now I have all the values or all the lengths of this particular plane figure that is 20 centimeter, 14 centimeter, again the length 20 centimeter and the arc length of this particular semicircle which is 22 centimeter. So therefore you can write the perimeter of the figure which is equals to 20 centimeter, 20 centimeter, 14 centimeter and 22 centimeter which is equals to 76 centimeter. So this is a very uh, straightforward and a, an a easy question where you will get in your O level examination paper probably in the uh, part A or in the first paper. So as I mentioned earlier try to identify the plane figures and apply the proper uh, formula and calculate the relevant values. Uh, also keep a note do not add this dotted line length value as some student get misunderstands since uh, we calculate separately the perimeter of the uh, rectangle and the perimeter of the semicircle no it is not the case uh, we see those two as two separate uh, plane figures but when it comes to the perimeter we consider the combined uh, le length which is uh, in this example 20 centimeter 40 centim 14 centimeter 20 centimeter and this arc length and we exclude this dotted line which is not comes into the calculation. So let's go to a go to our second example which is a little different one with our previous example. So as you can see uh, this particular figure it represents a square lamina with the side length of 15 centi centimeter. So all four sides are equal because it is a square and there are two areas which are shaded in blue color. One is a, uh, a sector of a circle uh, and, and a, a rectangle portion. The sector of the circle is ABG and the rectangle I'm sorry the triangle the triangle portion is GEF the triangle portion is GEF and the sector of the circle is ABG uh, so what the question is we must find the perimeter of the portion B C D E B C D F G which means the unshaded area length. So we need to find the length of BC and the length of CD is already given which is 15 centimeter and we must find the length of DF and the length of uh, FG and the arc length of BG. So let's see uh, how to calculate this value separately. So if I first take the triangle GEF simply I can apply the Pythagoras theorem in order to calculate the length of GF. So as you can see Phy Pythagoras theorem when you apply you write GF square is equals to GE square plus EF square. So you take the summation of the square of GE which is 8 square plus 6 square which is equals to the length of square which is GF square. So 8 square is equals to 64, 6 square is equals to 36, the sum gives 100. So 
fg square is equals to 100 so when I subject fg square I shift it to the opposite side of the equation so the square changes to square root so square root of 100 which is equals to 10 centimeter so that is the length of gf or fg so now let's uh, calculate the arc length gb so as you can see this is the one fourth of the circle or in other words if I apply to the equation arc length of a sector of a circle is equals to theta over 360 into 2 phi r theta value which is um, 90 degrees so 90 over 360 into 2 into 2 pi value is given 22 over 7 and the length of r as you can see the length of cd is 15 centimeter so length of cd is equals to length of ae so length of g is given 8 centimeter therefore the remaining length is 15 centimeter minus 8 centimeter which is the length of ag which is 7 centimeter so the radius of this particular sector agb is 7 centimeter so theta over 360 as i mentioned 90 over 360 into 2 into pi is 22 over 7 into radius is 7 centimeter so I can eliminate uh, 7 and 7 I can divide 7 by 7 so 1 over 1 and here I can cancel 90 divided by 90 is 1 360 divided by 90 is 4 again I can cancel 2 and 4 so I get 2 divided by 2 is 1 4 divided by 2 is 2 further I can divide 2 and 22 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 22 divided by 2 is 11 therefore the sector ABG arc length GB value is or the length is 11 centimeter so almost we found the length of GF and the arc length GB and we already have the length of CD which is 15 centimeter now we have only two more remaining lengths which is uh, BC and FD so as you can see to calculate the length of BC you can take 15 centimeter so minus 7 centimeter which means the length of AG is equal to length of AB as well because both are the radius of this particular sector so 15 minus 7 which is equals to 8 centimeter and the length of DF if you take 15 length of ED is equal to length of AC so AC length is 15 centimeters therefore ED also 15 centimeters because it is a square so 15 minus 6 which is equals to 9 centimeters so the length of FD is equals to 9 centimeter so we are done we found the lengths of arc length GB and the length of GF FD DC and CB so the summation of all will gives you the perimeter of the figure BC DFG so I have mentioned the values here 8 plus 15 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 equals to 53 centimeter so therefore the perimeter of the remaining portion of the lamina is 53 centimeter so this is how you calculate uh, the perimeter of a plane figure uh, which consists two more other figures in this example you will use you found that 
one sector and a triangle is attached so you identify what are the plane figures are and based on the plane figures you apply the equation and you will be able to calculate the required lengths so there are uh, examination questions I, if you take the last uh, five years papers you will find the first paper of your O level exam paper part A paper uh, you get tw 25 MCQ, MCQ questions apart from that there are five more uh, essay type questions uh, small questions in which one question they have highlighted uh, they have included this plane figure perimeter or area calculations so therefore uh, keep practice these questions you can refer your textbook and you can practice through your uh, model papers and western province exam papers as well as uh, your past paper so i recommend you to practice first your textbook questions then go to your western province uh, papers then you can uh, play around with the past paper question so you will get uh, good knowledge when you uh, tr when you are writing uh, past paper questions so with this video I will uh, conclude this lesson uh, then we will be doing our second chapter with the upcoming uh, video uh, if you have any uh, questions or if you need for need any further clarifications uh, regarding the perimeter calculations of uh, combined figures combined plane figures uh, leave your comments uh, on the video and uh, please like and uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel uh, NAK Academy thank you very much